Hello guys, this is Anish Vidya with the tutorial on how to make fingers. It took a very long time to make, so please comment, like, and subscribe if you want. So, uh, I have to make this tutorial pretty quick because I don't have a lot of time to... I have only 15 minutes. So, this is how you make it. I mean, this is how it looks after you make it. And the thumb has just one pose, just that. And if you want, you can select all your fingers like this and you have all your poses here and you can just mess with it like this and in this rig over here I just have it in one user data so click on your Steve rig go to user data and you have the poses here and then you just click and it moves that finger you just click, uh, ticked and yeah so uh, so let's make it I'm gonna leave that one there make a new cube make it 6.25 big uh, and that's a pixel big make it edible go to face select uh, let's make it now select the top of the face extrude right click extrude type in go into options type in 6.25 centimeters move it up uh, press enter click on the face again press enter click on the face here press enter so this is our index make sure you name it and now we want to add the textures how to add the textures is you need to for the arm you need to add new textures because we are adding a hand so this is the basically the arm now and this is the hand over here so you, actually the hand has just one pixel we just you just crop one pixel and load it into cinema 4d so that will be our dark texture uh, and this will be our more lighter texture for the front of the hand and so you want to crop your arm again except you're leaving two pixels and you also want to crop the bottom of the arm which is this and yeah not this this is not the bottom because it looks weird okay so go back into cinema 4d load in your textures and let's click on this side so we need our dark texture on this one so that's basically um, the dark texture is this one I loaded in dark texture is this one over here over here and now we just load in the lighter texture uh, like this Oops. and we have our finger don't worry about the um, how it looks it looks really it looks good in the render I guess um, now we go to object mode and click on your index go to live select uh, and we want to do character add point morph and go name it number one click on your morph and uh, click on your pose your new pose and go into face select and we need to make our pose so this is the pose where he bends the finger so he bends it a little bit and you can add more poses if you like uh, but this, these are basically the main poses so oh, we select the one cube and then right click and click on disconnect and it should disconnect it and we go into your move tool so click here snap settings click on this enable over here and uh, type in 6.25 centimeters and now it should align to your, 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 your thing if you're having problems please comment and I will I always answer all the comments and suggest on more tutorials if you like okay now we want to just move this one it's very important to first texture your hand otherwise you can get ah oh jeez you can mix up your textures a bit um, let's hide this one because uh, we just need to hide it in here and let's move this one over. it works don't worry so move it here and now we have our finger oh uh, we're missing a side so we need to right click go to bridge and go into this side select or whatever and just drag it across and you have a new plane new uh, face so add the texture the darker texture and we have our pose 
So now add another pose and this is number two. So click on it and make pose number two. So select faces of your cube and move it into by the way the middle finger is a different has a different uh, the middle finger is four blocks long not three blocks long so in the index finger I have it um, three blocks long you can make it for whatever you like you can even uh, well, you don't have to do it exactly like me okay select this move this yeah okay so this is okay yeah um, this is when it's just full out stretched and everything right click bridge bridge select drag it in there another face select the face add the texture darker texture and we have our two poses so I'm not gonna make the middle finger I'm just gonna make the all the other fingers wait actually let's just quickly click on this go to your pose morph click on base pose and then control C control V three times and duplicate and move them like that oops I move them in the wrong position okay now you want to name them it's pretty important uh, name this middle and this one ring and small something um, now the middle finger you have to make it a bit separate um, more separate so click on uh, number two and just edit this pause uh, just move one cube lower so we have four four blocks instead of one and stuff three blocks long so you need to make the middle finger a bit different I'm not gonna do that because I don't have much time in the video and click on animate just click on all your poses and click animate mm, just put this at zero if it's bothering you <laughs> and now make the thumb thumb is a bit different it just has one pose uh, okay move this here make it editable go to face select select the face extrude enter 6.25 centimeters enter ah. enter and enter okay uh, that's our thumb uh, add another uh, point morph and like make sure you add your texture now I'm not gonna do that so add your texture now and right click disconnect enter uh, move this down here uh, and we just hide this one here right click disconnect enter and hide it right click brush bridge uh, move this here and we have our pose so name this one one click on it press enter and one click on animate and Move, name it thumb and move it into a null and right click group objects on the null we're going to add an expresso you can add the null onto your character but just for this tutorial I'm gonna add the expresso on the null so uh, now we go uh, to your, I'm gonna first do the morphs of the thumb so click on your thumb and go into user data click on user data here make sure you have your uh, finger selected that you're going to make user data add user data and the thumb has just one pose so just uh, make one user data and make it a boolean and press ok and for let's now we just drag in the thumb make sure you have your thumb named Let me drag it in make sure you have your thumb name if you change the name while it's an expresso your your user data doesn't work so make sure you have it named before you do that anything so now go drag in your pose morph the off the thumb and click on the blue icon here go to tag properties add one strength 
and then we want to just drag that one strand into the user data we just put off the thumb and when we go click on the thumb now we should have its user data here yeah so we have it here and when we click on it it should do that oh I have a hole here there's a hole here oh well you just have to fill, fix that <laughs> um, don't forget to add that hole but yeah so all you have to do is click on the box and it goes into the pose so you can drag it here and now we have it here and you just have to click on it and yeah that's pretty cool um, now we have to do this for the other fingers I'm not gonna go through all of them I'm just gonna go through the index finger and you can figure out the rest if you're having problems please tell me click on index go to user data add user data click, uh, one make it a boolean this has two poses so add another data and name is two and boolean okay and grab and put in your index finger and click on the red go add your two new user data and if you don't have this user data thing here that means you made it wrong you know you didn't put the user data in the correct place get the strengths of both one and two and just drag in one drag in two and we have our index finger so yeah and we just drag this here and we have both our poses okay so thank you for watching make sure you subscribe if you're having problems tell me make sure to download my rig my rig is now finished and all you have to do is click on the guy here and you have all the expressions over here and you have all the eyes here I mean you just have the eyes here and you have the fingers you just have to click on them like that and yeah so thanks for watching bye